Hello and welcome to this podcast from West Sound FM. Recently, we teamed up with the Dumfries and Galloway Domestic Abuse and Violence Against Women Partnership to uh, launch a songwriting competition where young people were asked to write a song about the issues around domestic abuse. Uh, we had some fantastic entries and here's just a, a hint of how the five finalists sounded. No, the finalists and today we're going to hear from the winners Cloud9 and runner-up Ellen McFarlane. First then to Ellen, a singer-songwriter from Whithorn and she takes up the story of how she started making music. I've been songwriting on and off for about a year or something like that but um, it's only over the past month that I've really taken it seriously. I mean I started, I left school last year and I want to pursue music so I thought songwriting was the way for me to go. <laughs> so what kind of things uh, have you been doing? Have you been performing as well as, as the songwriting? Yeah, I performed at school quite a lot. And, um, well, this is really the competition I entered was really the first performance since then. So I hope there's more to come. But <laughs> <laughs> So tell us a little bit about uh, about the song that you wrote. What were you, um, what were you, th- you thinking about when you, you wrote this one? I just thought about what how I would feel if I was in that position and I wanted to write a song that would inspire people and make more people aware of the the situations that some people are in so it can be quite a a, a difficult thing to put yourself in, in somebody else's position so so yeah. how did you find that was it was it quite scary at times it was yeah it was quite uncomfortable to think that some people go through that but I think that was the best way for me to really write the song properly, to put myself in that position. A competition like this, I suppose it kind of, um, it it really is a good reason and and a good time pressure to put yourself under, because sometimes as creative people when we're writing songs, I know from personal experience you can have little ideas, but but actually having a reason to pull them all together. Yeah, yeah. Well, when you're given a reason to write a song, it's easier, but um, it took me quite a while to write this song. I had to think a lot about what were the right words to use in it and what atmosphere I wanted to create it, like to create by writing it. Okay, so tell us where we can uh, we can hear more of you and, and what kind of things you're going to be doing next. Well, I've got a Facebook page. It's called Ellen McFarlane Singer Songwriter and um, I'm on Twitter as well, but I haven't got any plans really yet for the future but hopefully that'll come around Now Ellen writes and records all her own stuff here's one she recorded in her bedroom that took her to second place in our competition
That's Ellen McFarlane. She was the runner-up in the Dumfries and Galloway Domestic Abuse and Violence Against Women Partnership at songwriting competition lately. She was the runner-up to the Castle Douglas-based Cloud9. I'm Annie. I play bass and sing. I'm Rowan. I play keyboards and synth. I'm Morgan. I play drums. I'm Lewis and I play guitar. And I'm Stuart and I play guitar and lead vocals. It's the first time we wrote together because we've only been together about two months. Um, it was our teacher in school, Miss Guthrie, our music teacher, who showed well, we saw a poster up and she said we should enter it, so we were kind of a bit worried about can we do it or not, and then we rushed to record it in the school recording studio uh, with our friend Adam Balchin, who helped us, and sent it off. But something like that, I suppose you say it's a bit of a rush, but yeah. sometimes it can be quite good to have a, something to sort of spur you into getting that, the recording done, can't uh, it? Well, it was, yeah, good pressure for us to yeah, no. get it all done. I mean, occasionally, for gigs and stuff, we're always running out of time yeah. for practice and stuff. So. So it's quite good to have a deadline. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> De- definitely a good thing. So tell us a little bit about, about the song itself. What were you thinking about when you, you came up with this one? We all kind of wrote together, we wrote the lyrics first and then... Um, wrote the music for it and we just kind of brainstormed all the kind of thoughts and feelings to do with the subject um, so basically it's about um, a woman who's abused and um, about how her boyfriend or husband or whoever doesn't appreciate her and basically what it makes her feel like and then in the end it finishes up by saying how he's now alone because, yeah, very much. <laughs> yeah. And um, did did writing this song give you a sort of uh, did it give you cause to think more about the issue of domestic abuse? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like since we had to do like whole song and a lot of vocals to come up with, and yes, yeah. had to think about the lyrics, uh, which was took a while. It's probably the longest part of writing it. I think the lyrics because certainly. For us, the music was a lot easier to write. Yeah, it's going to get in, obviously, the recording sessions that we got from this competition, which we're really grateful for. We're going to work at those in the new year and hopefully get some sort of 
CD recorded. So let's hear the winners in that youth songwriting competition from Castle Douglas. This is Cloud Nine. tries to make a living what we give her is abuse for it this world she's in she's deeply submerged you inflict so much pain she doesn't deserve She walks out the door But it was not her fault but yours And you forced and you pushed Made her do things she didn't want to do And she'll always be reminded of you that's Cloud9, the winners of the recent competition run with West Sound and the Friesen Gallery Domestic Abuse and Violence Against Women Partnership. Look out for more uh, songwriting from these youngsters. They're now going to be performing uh, a number of gigs uh, to promote their songs and what is a very, very important issue. And look out for more podcasts from West Sound FM.